if I call a liar a liar and you call that disparaging, then that's how you see it. If I told you that five people at City Hall have testified under oath that they heard Joe Carlini say that he had you on credit card fraud or something to that effect, would that surprise you? If you said that, yes. nothing would surprise me. Would it surprise you if they testified to that under oath? No, I wouldn't care. All right. Let me ask you this. Do you think that, do you think that everybody at City Hall who heard Joe Carlini say that he had you on credit card fraud or something to that effect, you think they'd all be lying? I wouldn't care. I wouldn't, That's not my it question. Wouldn't, it I didn't wouldn't ask matter you. to me at all. Great. You're do, involved in it. Do you think they'd be lying? Well, I don't know what they said. I don't okay. know what anybody told you. Sure. Well, I'll give you an idea of what they said. So, Take a look at what's been marked as Exhibit 12 in this proceeding. This is a contemporaneous memo taken by Chantel Adney regarding a... Um, Chantel Adney is a bigger liar than you are. All right. So I really wouldn't care what she said. Okay. What about Roxanne Yoder? Is she a bigger liar than I am? No, you're a way bigger liar than Roxanne. Okay. Is Roxanne Yoder a liar? I've known her to lie. Okay. So Chantel Adney is a bigger liar than I am, which I guess in your mind is a pretty big liar, right? right. I mean, in terms of in terms of lying, on one to ten, where do I stand? Am I an eight, nine, ten, <clears throat> eleven? Um. No, nah, you'd be about a nine. I'm a nine yeah. on a scale of one to ten. All right, yeah. Chantel's a ten. Oh, she's probably a fifteen. Okay, all right. And where would Roxanne stand on the line scale? I don't know. You know what? I've I've only known Roxanne to uh, like be dishonest on a be dishonest on a couple of occasions. Okay, so where would you put her? Like an opportunist liar. Okay. So like a three or four. Okay. Um, what about Darlene Thompson? I don't know. Do you think she's a liar? Um, no, nah, she never really lied to me. What about Matt Machado? Uh, he's, uh, um, yeah, he's a liar. Okay, where does he sit on the scale? Uh, like a five. He's a five? Yeah. Okay. What about um, Joe Carlini? Yeah, Joe can lie. <laughs> where does he sit on the scale? Uh, I, I don't know. I have no idea. He, he, Joe's like a kid that lies to get out of trouble. Well, you've said that Chantel's like a 15, I'm a 9. Yeah. Matt's a 5. Yeah. Roxanne's, I think you said 3 or 4? Yeah. I put right. Joe right around where Roxanne's at. 3 or 4, yeah. okay. And you don't have an opinion on Darlene? Nah. No. So, out of out of what about West? Where would you put him on the liar scale? I don't think I put West. I think West put himself on the liar scale. Oh, okay. So where is he? Like a three. Okay. Is there anybody at City Hall who you think? would not lie? I don't think there's a person alive that won't lie. That include you? Oh yeah. I've lied tons of times. Have you said anything today that's not true? No. No. Would you lie under oath? No. You lie when you're scared and nothing in here scares me. Before we depose everybody else, let's just get this out there because you've already told me that um, you think Chantel's a 15 on a 1 to 10 lie scale. I'm a 9. Roxanne and Joe Carlini are three or four. Matt Machado's a five. Wes is a three. Let's get everybody in here on a one to ten scale of lying. Where would you put uh, Jose Sagala? I don't know if he... I don't know. He's kind of like you. Well, I'm a nine. Is that what he is? Well, yeah. You say stuff like you. You'll say... I heard you said this, and I don't know if you may have heard it, but 
I don't think you, I think you know what you say is a lie. Okay, so is Hosea 9 in your mind? Because this is going to be your word against, I think, a whole bunch of people. He's just a, that's fine. Okay. He's, Hosea's a, just a, just a P, POS in my book. POS meaning piece of shit? Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. I, you can characterize it any way you want, yeah. but is he a 9 or is he a 10 well, or is he a Chantel 15? Where is he? Well, um, like Jose will ask, he will say stuff like, I heard Wes was investigating the mayor for, or I heard he, and that's not necessarily lying because I don't know, um, but uh, no, nah, he, he lies. Okay, so. But yeah, I don't, I don't, he's not as bad as you, okay. but he definitely lies. All right, so how bad is he? I, I don't know. Seven, eight? What would you call him? I think he's honest. I think, I, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've never had him lie to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, then he'd be just like you then. A nine? Yeah. What about Greg Nunley? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I don't know. You have no, you've got an opinion on everybody else, but not no, on not Greg? everybody. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an opinion on Darlene. I don't have an opinion on Greg. Um, what about Marissa? I don't, I don't know. I don't have an opinion on her as a liar. I don't know her to lie. What about Willard Epps? Um, no, I don't know Willard to be a liar. You think he's truthful? Yeah. He's the one guy so far out of all the city people we've talked about that you're willing to say is no, truthful. I, I, well, if, if you ask me if I think Willard's ever lied, of course. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think he's a, I think he has like a high moral compass. If, I think he does too. I yeah. think just about everybody in the community would agree with that actually. Yeah. All right. So. Who else is it? Macedo? Dave Macedo, yeah. Um, I'd say about a five. Okay, so he's, he, he lies quite a bit. No, you lie quite a bit. Okay, he lies sort of a lot, I guess. Okay, all about right. Half as much as you. Okay. Um, well, actually, technically it'd be a 4.5, not a five, but okay. <laughs> so, out of everybody in the room that was there, you have no opinion on Greg and Maritza. What about Mario Zamora? What's your opinion of him? Um, I don't know yet. I don't have an opinion on him as being a liar. Okay. What about Heather Phillips? Do you have an opinion on her? Well, I fired her. Well, um, actually, you didn't fire her. Yeah. You voted not to fire her, as I recall. Then there's another one of your lies. You voted to fire her? It was 5-0. Well, I read something in the newspaper where you were opposed. You said, I, I could swear that. It's not a lie. If I'm mistaken, I'll certainly cop to it. But I thought I read in the newspaper where I you... I can't tell you what you read in the newspaper. That's just the what the reporter writes. All right. Do you think she's a liar? Um, no, you know what? I don't know... If she lied, I, we, we judged her performance as um, as just being a responsive to the council. And there were issues there, and those issues, I mean, our, our relationship as friends uh, did not influence the issues of the decision I made for the city. Fair enough. And by the way, I just figured out why I had that impression, so I'll apologize to you. I'm not doubting that you voted to fire her. I think what I read was that you were the odd man out on the decision to file the lawsuit against her law firm. I think it was a four-to-one vote. Am I correct on that? 